Chief Inspector uh, from uh, Westminster Police based in Coventry. I'm Simon Shilton from Westminster Fire Service also based in Coventry and this is our first attempt at a live broadcast from on the street if you like. Um, so we've got uh, fire appliance here with us, we've got a couple of uh, police colleagues also uh, and we've also got a number of uh, viewers as well who are uh, eagerly waiting to ask some questions at some stage or another um, but please feel free to uh, send us your questions. Um, we've discussed to pick up the tweets and to our right is a laptop where you can also uh, pick up any messages that you can. Mm -hmm. We really would appreciate um, any feedback in terms of the quality of the sound and the picture. Um, say this is the first time we've got it out in the street, but it is important that we get a bit of a flavour as to what the sound's like. So if you could tweet us and, and let us know. In, in the picture, I'm just going to sign for you. There you go. So uh, let's just see if we can see you. Okay, yeah, this is Peter Sosha, Peter's uh, local officer. Talk about ASB, we actually mean actually antisocial behaviour. That's just uh, something that we obviously use in terms of terminology. And um, also with me, uh, Carl, Carl's local uh, police community support officer. Please be my stepping aside. Okay. Bring Carl in. Uh, uh, Carl's um, also um, one of the local um, Earlsdon uh, team. Uh, covers the area. Um, just gives a little bit of a, a flavour about the kind of things that you get up on a up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Around. Advice if you want to come down, we can show you the fire engine. Um, give you some uh, community advice on fire safety, uh, fire safety in the home, um, about safe cooking and not setting off smoke alarms with your adventurous cooking techniques and uh, we'll do that for you. So we'll be here during the, the cast. Uh, Alex, can you just um, give, give the viewers an idea of, of kind of what your day-to-day -day, uh, sort of entails as a watch commander at Blue Watch? Yeah, on our, uh, generally on our days and night shifts, which is one of the night shifts this evening, uh, we come into work, we will check all our equipment uh, via Twitter camp. Um, so, uh, as I say, uh, coventrypolice.org.uk, and we're currently based uh, in Moore Street at Earlsdon uh, Avenue uh, uh, in the main high street. So it's a, it's a busy and thriving uh, shopping area during the daytime, and it's also got a busy nighttime economy, uh, uh, a number of uh, pubs. Job. We do face uh, quite dangerous situations. Um, fire does create a lot of damage. Um, I have actually been burnt uh, before on a fire, uh, which caused me to uh, pay a visit to the hospital. Thankfully, it wasn't serious, uh, but it do, does happen to the professionals, uh, and also it's, a, it's a, a very strong reminder of how dangerous fire is. Thank you. Okay, that was a really good question, actually, uh, Simon. Uh, oh, it's it, going to be a difficult one. It, no, well, no, it, it does actually need something, and. and uh, there's a clue there, actually. I don't know if uh, <laughs> probably uh, pop the camera up a little bit. Cool, well done. Well done. So, uh, yeah, somebody did say to me, uh, "Where is my hat?" Thank you very much for that. Um, what we, myself and Simon wanted to do was try and get a bit of uh, a bit of corporacy. Yes. You know, so um, we decided not to wear our hats. But um, yes, thank you very much. I'm just trying to think. That's that's from Coventry Police. So he can't be here tonight. But somebody Alistair. Has, uh, yes, indeed. So somebody's very kindly retweeted that. So uh, yes, oh, you do. So. Imagine what you're doing. Oh, so, we're, uh, well, we're on TV. Okay, yeah, you're actually live on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you want to ask the police or uh, the fire a question, please feel free to do so. So that's well, there you go. <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing. Well, there you go. That's proof that we're absolutely live, uh, live on the on the uh, on the internet that's on the streets question. of uh, Coventry. This lady was curious as to what we were doing, but she didn't want to ask a question. So, anyway, you've seen me with my hat. You know that it is actually here. So, uh, thank you very, thank you very much, Alistair. <laughs> Well, Alistair, if you, yeah. high vis. What about your high vis? Yeah, we, okay, thank you, Alistair. I'm really <laughs> grateful. I know that you're very disappointed that you can't be here, but seriously, it is a shame that Alistair can't be here because he's done so much in terms of Twitter um, in Coventry. Um, last May, he held a, a conference with uh, with all of our neighbourhood officers, uh, and I'm really grateful for the work that he's done. As I say, all of the 18 teams are now, as I say, are live on Twitter and, and regularly tweeting. So. Uh, you know by wearing a high vis with the lights and the setup we've got here in the studio uh, and the outside broadcast you'll get the reflection off the high vis jacket and you get a very good picture. Yeah, and it would actually detract from yeah, yeah from, from, from the good looking to somewhere in the other part of the street. Yeah indeed. Okay. <laughs> so right, have we got any uh, any any questions? Has anybody got seventeen viewers at the moment? If anybody wants a, a shout out, 
um, what, that what's can, the that crime rate in Earlsdon compared to the rest of the city? Okay, um, somebody's asking what's the crime rate in Earlsdon compared to the rest of the city. Um, you'll have to bear with us on the camera. Normally when we're in Studio One, we're actually sat static, so you can see both of us, but obviously because we're uh, actually out in the street, it gets a little bit more uh, difficult. But uh, excuse me whilst I take my hat off and uh, pop that down there. Uh, we are here uh, to, to receive your questions and answer any queries. Um, one thing that uh, Kerry spoke to the area that uh, the scene cover, um, but we're always always interested in the things that um, concern you. Um, so, as I say, if you're interested in following the Earlsdon team, uh, you know how to do it. CoventryPolice.org.uk. We've got somebody watching from around the corner in Earlsdon. Um, it will bring up the types. There's four main types. You have the carbon dioxide. Um, water, foam and dry powder. Um, these you will find in the workplace uh, for safety um, and generally you will find the relative extinguisher next to or near the appliances that it will work with as in water. And um, can you just explain to the, to the viewers around um, what a sport, what we would consider be a sports visit? Certainly. Sports visit is where we go into the, the key stage two age range in schools. We bring in fire safety information, we look at working around the school on what they call citizenship. So just for Earlsdon uh, and Carl's local PCSO. And uh, guys, I think you've got a question for Pete. So you want to go first, your name, or what's your question? Okay, well, uh, we're coming to the end now of our live broadcast from uh, Earlsdon in Coventry. Um, it's been, uh, we've been really pleased with um, how it's worked. It's been great to get some online questions and it's also been great to get some uh, young people asking us questions here as well. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make this a regular event, but we really need you to spread the word about what we're trying to do, both from the police service and the fire service. As I say, it's about community engagement, answering your questions, responding to your needs. Um, we really hope you've enjoyed it. We'd be grateful if you could leave any feedback for us on Twitter, either at Kerry Blakeman or at SB Shilton. Uh, and I'll just hand over to Simon to uh, say a few words. Yep, thank you Kerry. Yeah, we'd like to say uh, on behalf of the fire service, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it's always a, uh, a very nerve-wracking time, um, as this is very new to us in terms of how we uh, engage with you. Uh, but as Kerry said, please spread the word if you've enjoyed our broadcast today. Um, we do want to make this a regular occurrence, an opportunity for you uh, to ask us any relevant questions or topics of the day um, so that we can answer them. Once again, thank you very much. Very nice to see the local scout group here and to, uh, to get involved. Um, really successful broadcast for us. Kerry? Um, just a few thank yous really. Um, grateful for Mike um, from uh, What's On in Kenilworth uh, turning up for us. Grateful for to, to Blue Watch as well for the fire appliance. Uh, really grateful as well for local businesses allowing us to use uh, their Wi-Fi. Uh, and also Blue Watch who uh, have turned up to give some home fire safety advice. Um, and as is customary um, with our broadcasts, um, there's only one way to finish it and to say it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Good night. Thank you.